My top five sporting moments. The first one is 100% hands down, Christina Horogu winning the Moscow World Champs in 2013. And she won by like thousandths or hundredths or tiny weeny bit. And that was just iconic for me. It's like the epitome of just never giving up and digging deep and leaving it to the last minute, which preferably like obviously as a, as a sprinter, you don't want to leave things to the last minute. But um, that was just proper Chrissy O style. It was absolutely amazing. Next on my top sporting moments would be definitely Jess Ennis's whole win 2012 as a poster girl, dazzle everybody, overcome any well, all the pressure, absolutely do fantastically smash it, and then pop out a baby, come back, become world champion in 2015. Another one was obviously seeing the hockey women's team win in Rio, the Rio Olympics, simply because I used to play hockey a lot when I was at school. I was a centre forward, not a particularly good one, but <laughs> I was centre forward. And yeah, it was just heartwarming to see um, a sport that so many of us, particularly yeah, young women and girls, we played at school, and to see the England team, well, Team GB, be so successful at the highest level was just heartwarming. It was very inspirational, and that's also why, yeah, seeing the netball girls win the Commonwealth Games in 2018, I was lucky enough to be there as well, um, is another one of my top sporting moments and it makes you really, really proud. Well, me really proud. <laughs> and my last top sporting moment, it would have to be Kelly Holmes in 2004. She's the whole reason why I kind of wanted to be an athlete. I remember watching her win both the 800 and the 1500. It was kind of like a last chance for her and it was probably the last Olympics that she was going to go to. Um, it was just so inspirational and I remember I was eight years old at the time and um, that really, really inspired me. It really made me want to do my country proud at the highest level.